Hi guys, so today I have a tag video for you. It's a little bit off topic and it will be in my Life Files playlist so make sure you check that out. And it's for all of you mums out there. Um, so I've got the mum tag which I saw on Nail Polish Baby 90's channel. If you haven't checked Amy out already she'll be linked below so make sure you go and do that. Um, before I start I should say I have two boys. I have Felix who is one and a half and I have Tristan who is four. Um, so there, Tristan's in here and he's like looking at me when he heard his name. So number one, favourite mum hack. So I could have thought for ages about this and sort of come up with a lot of different things because there is so many. Um, but one of the things that I particularly thought of, the one of the things that I particularly thought of was a fold up chair by Chico I think, I'll insert a photo. Um, and it's it basically it's what it says it is but you can take it out with you Mommy. so from the Mommy. age of one I made a little green car I'll go and find it yeah. from the age of one they're pretty good for them if you're going out for meals you and things find it. but for us um, they're quite good for our dining room table our house isn't overly big so having a high chair up takes up quite a lot of space so we changed and we used this chair as sort of a high chair um, from when he was quite little um, and it was absolutely brilliant. So for that sort of thing I felt that this was quite a good hack to use. So number two is most embarrassing mum moment. I can't think of any really. Um, I was a little bit embarrassed. Um, it was a bit of a dilemma for me as well though. It was a bit traumatic. Um, so we were in Tesco's and my husband was sat by the front door with the dog and Tristan had come in with me and I'd left the bags with my husband and I was paying and literally you've got the tills and then the front door so I said to Tristan can you go and get the bags from daddy? Yes, not a problem. Anyway, instead of going straight to daddy he takes a detour and I felt so stupid after for asking him to do it. I don't know why I did it. And I was so embarrassed because, of course, he'd gone. So I had to go running after him. Luckily, um, somebody related to me, because it's a small town, had come in and they'd gotten him. But I was so, so, I was distraught, but I was embarrassed at the same time. Um, I just, it was just, he, all he had to do was walk straight. And I was, just, I don't know why I, I even asked him to do it. So I was so embarrassed. Um, so that was probably... Yeah, that's the only one that really springs to mind. Uh, number three, best part of the day. Um, on a weekend, the best part of the day is the mornings. Felix does get up at like between five and half past most mornings. But I do quite enjoy, um, even if I'm awake, I do stay in bed for a little bit and we have cuddles and things. So I quite like the chilledness of the, of the day on the, on the weekends. Um, a weekday for me, obviously the best time of the day is coming home and seeing them, especially when they're both really pleased to see me and come, in, come running up for cuddles, that's really nice. Uh, worst part of the day, bedtime, without a doubt. Felix is hit and miss, um, depending on he is teething at the moment, so some nights he doesn't settle very well. Um, but Tristan at the moment is not a good boy at bedtime, are you? Um, and he plays up, so it takes quite a while to get him to bed. He's grinning at me now. Um, so it's not, not a nice time because I do work long hours and when they've gone to bed, that is the only time I get to relax a little tiny bit when all the jobs are done. Um, so I do like to get them to bed by eight o'clock. Uh, Felix usually goes at seven and I try and get Tristan in between seven and eight, um, which is can be quite difficult um, but yeah so that is the worst time of the day at the moment mm -hmm. number five is the worst mm -hmm. thing that somebody said to you so when I had Tristan um, he wasn't very old and the midwife I hadn't been signed off from the midwife and she was coming round and he'd slept I think he'd gone for about six maybe four to six hours in the night he'd slept solid and I remember saying how pleased I was that he'd slept that well and she basically told me that I shouldn't have let him sleep that long I should have woken him up to feed him as a first-time new mum I was 
absolutely heartbroken. Um, my husband came home to find me in floods of tears, I'm so upset. Um, I think she knew she'd upset me because after that she was, yeah, she was a little bit more, a little bit better, but I, yeah, it, it absolutely destroyed me her saying that. I was, you know, I thought I was doing a good job, but then she made me think, feel like I wasn't, so that was a really awful thing. Uh, number six, baby names you didn't agree on. <laughs> There's only one that we didn't agree on, and that is I, for both boys, I wanted Elijah. <coughs> Um, but Jay, that's my husband, didn't like it. So in the end, neither of them were Elijah. I tried up until the last minute with Tristan. So even when he was born, I was like, can we call him Elijah? But no. And I tried it again with Felix, but that didn't work. So that is definitely the baby name we didn't agree on. Question number seven is, do you co-sleep? Um, we don't. Not that I, I don't necessarily disagree with it or anything, we just, we just don't. Um, the only time they come in is, is if they're poorly or if they're not sleeping and I'm tired, then they will have come in bed with us. But I don't, we don't co-sleep as in, I think, as the proper meaning of it. Um, but I know that people do and, you know, whatever works is definitely best. Um, we don't have much room in our bed, so co-sleeping would not have been uh, ideal. And I know my husband was always worried um, about sort of rolling over and squashing the baby. So, uh, so no, we didn't really co-sleep. We do probably co-sleep more now they're older because they come and get in bed with us in the middle of the night um, than when we did when they were babies. Um, number eight, something you bought and never used, um, a bumbo. Both of my children didn't like it, so that was a waste of 30 odd quid. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't know what a bumbo is, I'll insert a picture. So that was one thing we didn't really use. Um, and then obviously, well, we got rid of it. We still, I think we sold it. I don't know how much we got for it, but not what we paid. Um, number nine, three hospital bag must-haves. So number one for me was squash, because they do not provide squash in hospital it's all water and I do not like water so yeah definitely take my own squash uh, number two is dry shampoo I was in for two two to four days with both and um, dry shampoo was a saviour yes question 10 next um, so that's number two and number three um, I would say now Maybe not at the time, but now I would say get some water wipes because they are so much easier than using cotton wool and water and um, they seem to find them quite acceptable in hospitals. So water wipes are a good one. Ow! So that's my three things. Uh, so number 10, routine mum or go with the flow? Um, a bit of both. A bit of both. We were very routine with our first. Um, he had he was in a very good routine um, and then the second came along and everything went wrong so I am a little bit more go with the flow I Mommy. try and keep as much of a Mommy. routine as possible Mommy. yeah we'll do yours in a minute um, I, try oh, I'm a, I'm a one. I try to keep in as much of a routine as possible um, but sometimes it's just not easy because of work and life in general so but I do prefer a routine um, it asks about bedtime routine. Um, we don't have baths every night because I was told it's not good for their skin. So sometimes we have a bath, sometimes we don't. Uh, we like to have a story or just a bit of chill out time. And then Felix usually goes to bed first with his bottle. Um, we put him to bed, he settles, goes to sleep, and then it's Tristan's turn. Um, and he goes to bed, we say good night, and and that's it. So uh, yeah, so so yeah, we sort of do have routine, but not as much as we used to. Number eleven. What type of labour did you have? Um, I had both of my boys were born naturally. I'm hoping to do a couple of videos about my pregnancy and birthing stories Mommy. because that's Mommy. I really like watching those. So Mommy. I really want to do mine. I'll find out one more. Uh, pain relief. I just had gas and air. Mommy. They took it off me. 
first time round because it was making me very sleepy and I wasn't pushing and things like that. So, yeah, so just gas and air. And to be fair, both times I didn't have it for very long. So I did the bulk of it without any pain relief, I suppose, really, when I think about it. Hold on a minute. Um, I can't, I've lost my train of thought now because Jason tried to stop me. Um, so yeah, so so just gas and air really. Have you, got, um, have you got to tell yet? Number 12, no we're on number 12 now. Have you ever been mum shamed? I don't think so, no. Um, no for that question. I can't think of any examples to talk about for that either. So we'll move on to number 13. The biggest challenge you faced. Having a second child has been a huge challenge. Um, he's on go on the go all the time. So yeah, my biggest challenge is probably That's being at home with them on my own because they do tend to play me up, and they're good as gold for everybody else. So it's try and it's trying to give them sort of attention each is very difficult when Felix is can be quite demanding and wants picking up a lot and. And then I feel bad for Tristan, but, you know, I, I'm i doing my best, basically, and that's all I can do. But, yeah, it's been a challenge having a second, I'm not going to lie. It's not... I think because Tristan was such a good baby, we thought it was going to be quite easy, whereas it hasn't been quite as easy as we thought. But, do you know what? They're both a joy and I love them to bits. Uh, so, number 14, best advice. Go with your gut. You know what is best for your children, you know how they are, you know their routines. Um, there's so many times I've listened to other people and thought, why? Because, you know, you do know your own children, so definitely go with your gut. You know what's best, don't let anyone else tell you any different. That is a good piece of advice. And um, lastly, number 15. Now I've got the dog growling as well. So number 15 is mum crush. Uh, I don't really have a mum crush. Um, a woman who I think is quite maybe inspiring I suppose is Natalie Hansen. I'm a big Hansen fan and she is the wife of Taylor. They have now got six children and they travel around and she homeschools and she puts some really lovely stuff up on Instagram so I will put her Instagram down below. Um, but I can't really think of any other mums, you know, that, uh, that uh, are doing a sort of, yeah. I don't know if mum crush is, is the right word. Just maybe inspirational mums. An inspirational mum. Let's, uh, I think, um, yeah, Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90. Um, she's doing brilliantly with her too. Um, she puts some lovely posts up on her Instagram as well. Um, I won't link that because it hits her personal one, so I don't know if she wants everybody following it. Um, yeah, we'll find it in a minute. I'm so sorry for the interruptions. But if I don't get this film now, I'll never do it. Um, yeah, loads of people actually. Uh, loads of people in the nail polish community. Uh, Miss Holly Berry is, I take my hat off. She's had this gorgeous baby girl and she has stopped YouTube. She is spending every second with her. And hey, it's Jessie K, is it? Um, she, yeah, she stopped doing her YouTube. I've kept doing mine because it keeps me sane. <laughs> so, so that is why I, I do do my YouTube still. But I, I do take my hats off to them. I think it's wonderful um, that they're able to, to do, just to do that. I suppose first time I round, yeah. I wasn't doing YouTube. So um, it was slightly different. Um, but yeah. So there we go. Anyway, so I hope my answers have been sort of somewhat making sense and things, what with the interruptions of dogs and children, and I suppose it's quite apt for the for the tag. Um, anyway, if you would like to do this tag, please feel free to and let me know if you do, because I'd love to see your answers. Like I say, hopefully at some point I will have some pregnancy and birth stories Mommy, coming out, so look I'm out for those. And yeah, again, check out my life files um, because that has got different stuff in to nail polish. Um, I'm going to go and <laughs> try and sort Tristan out now. Uh, there will be a video up coming soon with him because he's wanting to film some of his stuff. 
so we shall see. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.